Hi guys, this is Matt Brolin with Otis Technology. And I'm Greg Essenlor. So today we're here to talk about limited breach. And we get a lot of questions from customers. Yeah. What is limited breach? And we've been saying it for so many years and maybe we haven't done a good job explaining ourselves and what we're talking about with it. So basically you've got your chamber area. Yep. And there are certain models of guns that this area is very short. Yep. And you can't pull our standard brush through there to make what we call the corner. The Let's corner just give shown. an example quick. Yeah. So when we're talking about the breach, we're talking about this area right here. And on some of these firearms. <laughs> that's a tricky one there. You can't make that corner. That's our, that's the issue. So traditional um, rod systems, you would use it from the end and you'd push it all back down. But you know, we wanna get rid of all that junk out the end. So we came up with a limited breach system to make that easier. I mean, we clean from breach to muzzle because you're not pushing everything back in your action. This yes. is your engine. You don't clean the oil and force it in through the tailpipe. You get it out of the engine. So Wish that's you would have told me that before. I know. <laughs> it's one of them things, but that's the reason. So with a limited breach, and you can see the difference. Now, lengthwise, it, it's, it's much different. But for the diameter, we still keep the same sizes. So a 22 is a 22, is a 17 is a 17. Um, it's just a shorter brush to make that corner, is what we call it. We'll feed that in there. If you just want to grab that on the end. I can do that, boss. So as you can see here, this brush is a lot shorter. It yep. allows you to clean. It's caught up on that. From breech to muzzle. And that pulls right through. And with the limited breech cable, we do crimp the slot a tip on there so you don't have to screw and unscrew that. And the reason is because it keeps that part shorter. If you had the cable in with the screw on it, it would be much longer and you wouldn't be able to make that turn also. So that's why we do it that way. Some other examples of limited breach, we have a 17 HMR right here, um, bolt action. We could take the bolt out and clean with a cable with a regular size brush if we needed to. Or a rod from our or a rod. choice line. Yep. Or you can use the limited breach system and clean with the bolt still in the firearm. Um, the other tricky ones like this Henry 22, you know, again, you can see how small your breech is here. A normal brush is not gonna make that corner either. So with the limited breech brushes, you can get to that easier. And I mean, for the most part in field use or just a quick clean, it's great. Maybe end of year you pull your bolt yeah. and do that, give it a real thorough uh, end of season cleaning. Yep. Um, but for the most part, just taking your limited brush, pulling through the cable a couple of times, get your patch through there, yeah. do that. that, that works great. So another one of the products that I'd like to talk about that works great for limited breach is our rip cord. So our rip cords are- So that's not like a boar weasel. It's not a some boar other weasel. Thing or a gardener snake or something like that. A little different. It's, it's, different. A, it's a rip cord. Yeah, so we don't use nylon in our products. We use Nomex. Not a shoelace? Not a shoelace, no. Huh. No, we use Nomex. So actually we take our cable and then we weave Nomex around it. So you still have the strength, so you're not gonna break it. What's um, Nomex? Nomex is a fire retardant product. So like your fire jacket that you wear yes. to go into a burning building. Yes, or race car driver. Is or, wrapped around that steel cable. Yep. A lot of... It's a pretty legit product right there. Oven mitts, things like that, yep. correct, yeah. So, and then we have a internal, what do we call it, a helicoil inside? Helical saniprene, basically rubber over cert. That sounds like science. Yeah, I hate when I do that. But the nice thing about this product no is, <laughs> is it is flexible. Um, being that it is Nomex, you can take a firearm right off the line that's hot and you're not gonna damage your rip cord. So you'll see on one end it is bigger, that's gonna be your tail end. So you're gonna stick this right into the breech area and simply pull it down through. And that will give you your cleaning of the barrel for a real quick in the field cleaning. So our rip cords, we have everything from a 17 cal up to 12 gauge shotgun. Um, the other thing we didn't mention is the cable ends on the, the rip cords. You can screw in brushes. So if your barrel is super fouled or something, you can pull that through uh, to help with that. You can also put a slotted tip on there and, uh, and pull a patch through with solvent on it. So on the small 17, this is a 540 thread. Standard, we use an 832 thread on those. And then back to our brushes. So 
The one on the right is kind of an industry standard length with that, and the one on the left is our Otis brush. Uh, the cool thing is since we make these here, right in the US and upstate New York, we control how they're made. And what we do is pack this with more filament than an industry standard brush. So it can be shorter in length and you're getting more filament in there. We have a rounded nose that we can really push in the machine and tighten that up. So our filament is very aggressive when it pulls through there um, for that. But that's kind of the difference. Now, the one thing is with this length of brush that most people have in their kits, uh, you can't even fit these in a standard action, say like a 99C or something like that. It's very hard to get a three inch brush in any of those. Uh, equivalent to the limited breach um, yeah. with that. So with our two inch, you can get those in most anything except for the very smallest of limited breach. Yeah. What about back feeding? We've back talked feeding. about that. So the other issue we get to now is on your revolver line. So you're trying to make the insertion here on your barrel. Um, if you were to take... Let me hold that up for you, Vanna. <laughs> Thank you. You have such beautiful hands. I, know, I should be a model. So normally you would take this, you would try to send it through. You can force that brush if you need to, but you're gonna either bend it or wear on the side of your uh, barrel there. So the option that you have. So if it's not your gun, send it. If it's not yours, send it, yeah. <laughs> if it's not your stuff, you can feed the brush in. Now I'm like trying to work this thing left-handed here. And then thread on, you're, are you turning lefty Lucy? I, no. <laughs> Thread that on, and then you can pull it through. So that makes it easier as well. So you can backfeed our systems if needed to work for those firearms. So to kind of reiterate, um, you know, the limited breach part, you know, on the on the firearms, we're talking about this area here. Um, the Otis gear will allow you to clean that breach to muzzle the correct way using some of our different components, such rip as cords. our rip cord. Yep, our limited breach cable with the smaller brushes. Um, you know, anything from your, you know, your Ruger 1022s to your, some of your 17 HMRs to your um, lever action 22s um, to some of your revolvers and even uh, semi-automatics. So Otis has the gear able to clean those for you. Um, for more information on that gear, please go to our website. If you liked our content today. Oh, please let me. Click like and subscribe if you like the video and already want to see other videos that we've done. And we really appreciate your comments. Yeah, so if you have a comment on a certain limited breach or a firearm that you're confused about how to clean, give us a comment below. Um, and uh, we hope to see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>